Bhutan opened to tourists in 1974. Down the decades, the country, with its picturesque landscape, has attracted a steady stream of curious visitors. Now, there's more reason to explore the Himalayan kingdom's steep mountains and deep valleys. Bhutan's king, a keen hiker, has kick-started an ambitious project to restore many of the roads, turning Bhutan into a hiker's paradise. In an indication of its growing popularity, authorities have introduced a $200 fee per person for the Trans-Bhutan Trail. Perhaps a win-win for Bhutan, nature lovers and hiking enthusiasts. A hidden Himalayan kingdom that sits between India and China, steeped in an aura of mystery and wonder. It is hard not to smile at glimpses of one of the world's most mystifying and charismatic countries. A utopian mountain kingdom where GDP has been famously ditched in favor of gross national happiness as measure of development. Bhutan, that opened to tourists only in 1974, has attracted a steady stream of curious visitors down the decades. Strong spiritual beliefs, a unique social cohesion and a fondness for outlandish folklore have always been a huge draw. Now there's even more reason to explore Bhutan's steep mountains and deep valleys. This network of 16th century trails was once used by Himalayan traders and royal messengers. When road arrived in the 1960s, they fell out of use. Now Bhutan's king has kick-started an ambitious project to repair, restore and reuse them. King Jigme Khesar Namgyel Wangchuk is a keen hiker himself. From Dochula 3,000 meters above sea level, downhill over carpets of sprouting moss and mushrooms. Through twisted hemlock trees draped in lichens, almost 70% of Bhutan is covered in forest. A safe haven for Bengal tigers and black bears. And the antelope-goat mix called the Takin. A string of temples and songs are peppered on this Trans-Bhutan Trail. This is the Tiger's Nest Monastery, an architectural marvel and UNESCO World Heritage Site within easy reach of the Paro Airport. Winding through forests, one comes across hydropower prayer wheels, fluttering prayer flags, steep pathways and countless stairways away from the roar of traffic and hum of mobile ringtones. Authorities maintained the Trans-Bhutan Trail and recently introduced a $200 fee per person to bolster sustainable development. Remember, Bhutan is the only country in the world that's confidently declared itself 100% carbon negative. It's a place where nature remains a priority. In the five centuries since trails were first built in Bhutan, the country has changed dramatically, but there's still a deep respect for the past. In decades to come, there's a happy confidence that verdant forests will not give way here to mayhem that comes packaged as development. <laughs>